At the courthouse, we had a blockade of the court entrance where the landlords and the lawyers have been going in to evict tenants for the last several months. This is only one of the ways that tenants are being evicted in Kansas City, though. So meanwhile, we had a disruption of the online court dockets, and that was actually the most disruptive action, whereas this was symbolic. We had folks chained to the doors to shut down eviction court, and our message is that every eviction is an act of violence. And by Judge Byrne and the rest of the judges on this docket, allowing for evictions to occur even during a national eviction moratorium, they're actually sentencing some tenants to death. We know that there are tenants who have already been forced out of their homes and onto the streets who have gotten sick or will get sick from the coronavirus as cases continue to spike. And the CDC nationally has said that ending evictions is a matter of public health urgency. So we were here to shut things down in person. And meanwhile, we had about 50 people on the phones all morning. And we have people ready to go all afternoon to make sure that every single eviction docket is closed for the day. I um, one of, was one of the ones that was illegally evicted um, last September. We had a court that, but my landlord decided to put my belongings from my, myself and my children out in the rain. Um, when our court date happened because of the things that she did, it was dismissed with prejudice. Then on that same date that our case was dismissed with prejudice, she came back down here, filed another eviction under her mother's name. It tears me the part to know because everyone, don't, everyone doesn't have the accessibility to do online, online hearings. Everyone isn't tech savvy. Everyone doesn't have a laptop. Everyone doesn't have a cell phone. And you mean to tell me evictions can still happen when it doesn't, when they don't have these accessibilities? And the, and the courts don't even give that accessibilities in the middle of a pandemic? That's why I'm here. I'm here to use my voice to let you know, that everyone know that the court system is not giving accessibility and they are using their power to kill people. My baby girl turned one years old today. Today's her birthday. We should be planning birthday parties. We, our children play together. We should be planning our birthday parties. But at the same time, I can't plan. Me and my friend, we can't plan birthday parties because if we don't have a house, where are our kids gonna, where are our kids gonna stay? Where are they gonna play? That's why I'm here. I'm here for my children, I'm here for my family. I'm here for my community. How can I live a life if I don't have a life to live in? We'll be back! We'll be back! Well, you heard the last chant, we'll be back, right? I think uh, our folks are crystal clear that if we don't get the justice that we need through the powers that be, uh, we're going to take it ourselves. We like to channel the chant, if we don't get it, shut it down. And that's what we have done today, both in person and online and we will definitely back, be back to continue doing that. Our perspective is like, our hotline is running every day and we're getting dozens of calls from tenants who are facing eviction, who haven't had work in months and have nowhere to go and are living out of their cars. We had people come up and approach us today who were evicted months ago and saw us and felt for the first time in months like they weren't alone. We can't, you know, now that we're in this fight, we can't abandon it and people are, really suffering right now. Um, so this certainly won't be the last that the court hears from us if they don't decide to make some major changes. <laughs>